Hello my friends, welcome to part 24 of my Horizon Zero Dawn full blind playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We are playing on ultra hard difficulty. We're going to do Into the Borderlands and that's to meet Eren at the Palace of the Sun. That sounds really exciting guys. Alright, unfortunately I can't bring my mount in there which sucks. Oh there's a ball, hello ball. <laughs> uh, hello goose or ducks. Um, last episode we helped out Erend, and it turns out that it looks like his uh, sister, Ursa, is actually alive. So that's really exciting, guys. Uh, we met a couple of powerful machines called Ravagers, and they have an amazing laser-mounted... Well, no, sorry, a shoulder-mounted gun, I can't remember, but it was pretty awesome. But they're very deadly machines. Um, anyway, guys, so... It's actually pretty far. Okay, I'm going to run down. I'm going to time skip heads. I'll see you over there. All right, guys. Looks like we're quite close. Um, let me just check out if there's a merchant anywhere because there is another bow I want to get. It's called a war bow. Actually, I don't need to go to the merchant for that. The problem is I need to get a snap more heart, which I haven't managed to get yet. Um, so I need to hunt quite a few snap mores, and I hate fighting those things, guys. They're bloody awful, bloody awful machines, honestly. But anyway, um, let's... Oh, wait, there's something to read here. Okay. Did I not read this already? No, I don't think I have, guys. One second. Give me a second. I'm pretty certain I've read this to you, to you all. Uh, give me a minute, guys. I won't be long. No, I haven't. I'm so sorry. I have not read this. Okay, by the way, if you don't want to hear all this, because these are quite long, just skip ahead. I leave everything in timestamps. So check below. Uh, just skip ahead if you don't want to see this. Anyway, the Mad Sun King. The reign of the Mad Sun King. Be warned, reader, that as a true account of the Mad Sun King, Duran's acts, these glyphs are blotted in blood. Truly, the savageries committed can barely be recounted. So pray to the cleansing sun for yourself and a teller of these tales. You will learn of the grievous wounds inflicted on foreign lands in the reaping of sacrifice, the Red Raids, for the Mad Sun King would order a whole generation cut from each village, so they might more willingly supply sacrifices and be harder pressed to, fight, uh, to field fighting men on the next raid. The Utaru, who sought to appease with gifts of grain, were slaughtered in such number that upon the following harvest, the maize grew black and blue with the blood of the dead. Jesus! <laughs> That's pretty sick. Not in a good way. Against the Osiram, the terror of the sun piled the corpses of their fallen of their fallen up to the walls of their villages, Jesus, so his kestrels might clamber upon the dead to enter. My goodness. And in the valley of the barbarian Nora, terrors of the savage east, such savagery ensued, ensued that the trees were drooped with corpses hung as grim warnings, Jesus. Should you wish to read of the Mad King's depredations against his own people, your curiosity will not go unsated. Within are accounts of the deaths of those sentenced to the Sun Ring. Listed in such detail, you might think it reported by their own chattering skulls, once piled outside the city gates. Nor will he find a more harrowing account of his massacre of the Hunter's Lodge. Reading these accounts, you might imagine yourself among its brave hawks as they fought to the last, bloodying the sand from dawn till dusk. Or perhaps in the crowds as the loosed behemoths careens through the stands with the crashing of wood and bone. All this crazed bloodletting did the Mad Sun King take in with his pitiless gaze. Indeed, he would not even look away from the goring of his own son in that ring of death. Yes, fair-haired Cadaman, Cadaman of the dawn's rising, so degraded and doomed for the crime of standing against his father. Such a true and complete account of the Mad Sun King Joran's miseries cannot be found in the history annals or heard from the reckoners of the Sun Priests. 
It is with a heavy heart that I scribe these events, leaving out no shocking detail, but my debt is to history and to you, brave reader. Wow, this uh, Sun King Duran does not sound like a very nice man. <laughs> that is awful, guys. What a tyrant. Anyway, let's um let's go up this way. Am I allowed through? Talk to Murad. Is that you? Blameless Murad. <laughs> Blameless what? Is that his name? <laughs> Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Murad. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Osaram gets special treatment. Guys, this is crazy, and we're gonna meet the Sun King, yay! The Sun King haven't heard. Passed by some outlander woman, unacceptable. <laughs> They're pissed I've skipped the line. <laughs> look at these guys. <laughs> they look awesome, man. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. Wow, I'm blown away what by Meridian. The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora, she who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osara. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osara had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osaram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad. Let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. Okay, you and Ursa. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. All right, Durval. Who is Durval exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter oh. and sacrificed them in the sun ring. Oh man, that's awful. Anyway, why kidnap Ursa? So why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. 
She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. And she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asaram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies, I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. All right, questions about the College of Sundom. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. All right, becoming the Sun King, your palace. Okay, let's do this one. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. I can. How much of that is true? All of it. It's not too far off. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. <laughs> All right, your palace? Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. I like him. He's, he's cool, guys. Uh, King of Art. I wasn't sure what to expect of him. But uh, yeah, he seems pretty cool. And also, guys, sorry, I'm a little bit slow. We're like 20-something episodes in. I've just realized the people in this world, they all use machine parts as part of their clothing. <laughs> I, I just realized now, but it's really awesome. Pretty cool. All right, Karja and Osaram. Your politics seem very complicated. The Osaram are friends, but enemies too. I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans in the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. All right, we're, we're going to get Ursa back. Don't worry. Okay, the Shadow Karja. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. All right, I think that's it. Okay, time is short. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Aaron if you have further questions. All right, cool, guys. Oh, there's something here. Oh, okay. Founding of Meridian. I'm really interested in reading this. Again, guys, if you're not interested or you've seen this before, just skip ahead. All right, so founding of Meridian. We are Karja. In us is the blood of those led by... A Araman from Persecution and Pursuit, so long ago. Out of the far savage east we came. Guardians of a treasure greater than land or metal. So they came from Nora lands. That's interesting. The leaves of the old ones. Araman found the leaves in a ruin, picked out by a beam of sunlight, and he recognized at once their importance. Within was etched the first teachings of how to observe the sun to recognize its guidance and to understand the place of man. From out of the leaves came the first glyphs, the first writing, so our knowledge could last longer than voices. But when our forefathers offered to share this gift, they were driven out by those they had once called tribes folk. 
These ones feared to have the light of knowledge brought to bear on their ignorance, or were jealous of its power, and so began the long wandering of our people, trusting only that the sun would guide them and deliver them from the barbarian tribes. The path was hard and marked by the stones of families who fell along the wayside. Even Araman's own, the persecution was unceasing from those without purpose, only the desire to debase and destroy. But the faith of the Kaja was rewarded with a distant vision, a tower like a solid ray of sun holding on the horizon flashing. Even as their enemies descended upon them, Araman followed the flight of the Glint Hawks, leading his people through looming canyons and teeming jungles. Again, they saw the tower so close and now it seemed to reach to the very sun itself, and they saw that the Glint Hawks perched upon it. Beheld in the light of the sun, the tower, the spire, cast its long shadow upon a mesa across the verdant valley. Araman knew he had found a haven for, for the tribe, as this was a place shunned by those without his faith, who cowered from the magnificence of the spire or the shining feathers of the glint hawks. He named this place Meridian from a passage in the leaves, and the tribe settled in the protection of of the Great Mesa. They found the site was blessed in every respect, carving their cliff houses from the bounteous resources, and in time from the red rock of the Mesa itself, crowning it with the first columns of the City of the Sun. Truly, the Sun gave much to the descendants of our forefathers, granting Meridian great harvest and pro prosperity, and the bounds of the Sun Dome for as far as its light touched. In time, seeing Meridian shielded, shielded us from the dark arrows and plots of our foes. Other foreigners brought trade and tributes. Holy Meridian, without spy and sun, there would be no Meridian. But now and forevermore, it stands as monument to both. And the glory of Araman and the founders is reflected anew in each sun king of the radiant line and the noble houses of the sun court. That is awesome, guys. I love reading stuff like this. So I'm a little bit of a nerd like that, but I just wanted to... I like origin stories and, you know, things like that. Now, where is the spire? So they're talking about the spire. Um, Araman found the spire and obviously this area and decided it was like a sign. <laughs> and they settled here and created this beautiful city. Oh, there's uh, Aaron. Hey, dude. What's up? So, I thought Ursa was dead, and I thought Durval was dead. Dead doesn't seem to mean what it used to. Well, maybe I'm just an ass. Whatever. All I know is that it's time to find my sister and get some payback. I hope Murad's guy grabs us a lead. Right, Ursa and Durval? Did Ursa ever tell you anything about Durval? Well, we were both under his command for a while, sort of. Helped him recruit an army to take out the mad Sun King. But then he got real creepy with Ursa. Oh, he no. He said she wasn't interested, but he wouldn't let it go. Not to mention the fact that we realized he wanted to murder every Karja, not just the bad ones. Long story short, he's a grazer-licking dumbbag. <laughs> what? <laughs> right, Sun King of Odd? Avad seems committed to finding your sister. Yeah, those two got along. And some people say they shacked up, but I, I don't buy it. Seems a little skinny for her. <laughs> oh, okay, some bad images are forming in my head. Let's just focus on finding her and kicking Durval's <laughs> ass. All right, time to go. I'd better go. Don't stand me up in Pitchcliff, okay? Ursa needs us. All right, guys. We'll speak to Blameless Murad. Aelon, how can I be of service? It's obvious that you're an advisor to the Sun King, but what is it you do exactly? Whatever is needed, of course. Which Are is? You always so evasive? It depends. <laughs> right, Sun King Avad. You were right about Avad. He seems genuine. He is the Sun King. I serve him the best I can. What else would you have me say? Huh. 
Did you serve the last one as best you could, too? Well, I served him to his enemies. <laughs> it was the best I could do for the Sundom. What did you do? Nothing I could be blamed for. Oh, so that's why you're called blameless. <laughs> are you a spy? <laughs> Sounds to me like you're a spy. There are many helpful voices in the Sundom and beyond. I like to think of myself as a good listener. Blameless? <laughs> so why do they call you Blameless Maraud? Well, it depends on who you mean by they, and what they might wish to blame me for. <sighs> Talking to you is tiring. So they say. <laughs> I actually like him. He's cool. The Osaram, <laughs> the Osaram border. He should be a politician, guys. What will I find at the border? An outpost full of Osaram, most of whom want nothing to do with Durval. Still, he inspires great loyalty in those who fought with him against the last Sun King. He will not be caught alone. And don't forget, he is a master craftsman. Nothing delights him more than his dangerous toys. All right, Durval and Ursa. What makes you so sure Durval did this to Ursa? I don't care for sure or certain. I prefer likely or probably. How many Osirum are clever enough for this ruse? Capable of building the weapon you described, who hate Ursa so? More than one? Not likely. Durval. Quite probably. Even if people think he's dead? That is surely another reason to be suspicious of certain words. All right, we're done. Goodbye. I have to go. Then you must. <laughs> oh, there's something else here, guys. Again, just a reminder, <laughs> skip ahead if you don't want to see this. All right, the Sun Kings. Oh, this looks like it's going to be super long, so get ready. Right, the Chronicle of the Sun Kings, the founder Araman, who guided our forefathers from the shadows of the Savage East into the fastness of the Mesa Valley, and who, reading the signs of sun and shadow both, delivered them to the site of Holy Meridian. The bounteous Amavad, who oversaw the clearing and sowing of the royal Maeslands so that none who walked in the sun's favour should go hungry again, who cut back the jewel to claim the rich estate lands for the first houses of the Sun Court. Okay, it's just going through all the kings, um, the descendants of, uh, what's his name? Araman. Anyway, the far seeing Sadahin, who expanded the Sun's dominion to the north, south, and east, setting a gate at Bright Market Harbor, and who before the Sun at its highest proclaimed these lands would be known as the Karja Sundom. So by the light, it was good. Generous Jua Dean, Jura Don, sorry, Jua Don, who stocked the metal markets with the spoils of his own trampler hunts, and who allowed trade from north and south, even permitting outlanders the gifts of the counting glyphs, so they might understand more than simple barter. Uh, Zafarad, the pilgrim sun king, whose tower was raised to the top of the ridge of Vales, and who crossed the great waters of the daybreak to the Sundom might extend even further. And to honour this passage had the great blazon arch raised on the far shores. Bold Eriv? Eriv? I don't know. Who saw the sun's passing into the west as a challenge, and forged after it with a great army, to be pushed back three times at the great canyon canyon lands that would be known as the Daunt, until the fourth time his cohort broke through, and were vanished in the lands beyond. Prudent Bassa did, who had the mantle of his fallen brother thrust upon him suddenly, who ordered the construction of the fortress of Sunfall and the garrison at Blazing Arch, declaring the land beyond it the forbidden west <laughs> where the sun may go okay interesting right kuva din the returner who strove to bring civilization to the savage east but returned after many strenuous endeavors uh, saying it was no longer fit for the people of the sun and called for the building of great towers and walls so this wild land might be observed safely ranan the firebird who saw the sundom suffer unprovoked attack by the Tanakith Horde? Tanakh? 
no, oh, guys, forgive me, I'm butchering all this, Tanakh Horde, and who, against the protest of his advisors, accompanied his army to confront them. Under the sun, they, he claimed victory, though he was so greatly scarred, he wore his blazon helmet from that day. Nahas, Nahasis, who was a hunter as much as a sun king, and called for the proudest men of the noble houses to prove themselves in competition beneath the sun, and that those who felled the greatest machines would be situated as the first sun hawk and hawks of the hunter's lodge. We need to visit that place, by the way. Okay, the illuminated Marzid, uh, who the sun visited with visions so vivid and grand, he commissioned many statues and frescoes of his vis visage in Meridian, and for his summer palace in Sunfall had the great citadel raised, where he remained painting until he took deathly ill from his own pigments. Hevas, elder brother of Mars Marzid, who decreed each family with a suitable male child should submit that child in service of the Sundom's then depleted ranks, and had the artisans turned their attention from works of art to outfitting each soldier uh, of the sun with the very finest armour, halberd and bow. Giron, oh, this is the tyrant, isn't it? Who in his early years was a strong sun king, defending the Sundom from the encroachment of other tribes and the derangement of the machines. But who became greatly adult and ordered the spilling of much blood in the sun's name, threatening to bring a twilight time upon us. Avad, the liberator. Okay, <laughs> his story is not yet been told. Okay, cool. All right, I hope that's it because I really want to get on with this quest. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but I love this. So I hope you guys enjoy the lore finding etc all right so where is this 21 whoa that's far away that is actually quite far away guys um i tell you what let's just teleport there watch out for the Asura merchants who are they oh that's those people okay let's just teleport give me a sec guys oh crap it's really far all right, all right. Let me grab. I, I need to get a mount anyway. So, okay, guys. I'll see you over there. Let me get a broadhead or something, and uh, I'll see you there. Uh, hey guys. Sorry. There's an NPC in trouble. I was actually on my way. I think he's. I think he's trying to run away from this long leg. All right. Let me help him because he was he was screaming. He was like, "Please help me!" <laughs> so I'm gonna help him out. Hey, hey, stay still. Oh crap, he's after me. Oh, damn it. Alright, let me freeze him. Oh, he's dead. Okay, do you give me anything? Do I get any reward? Oh, you arsehole. What a waste of time. Jesus. They could have handled this themselves. Well, I got some loot out of you, I suppose. Alright, guys. Um, anyway, I'm going to meet you further up. And my poor broadhead is in <laughs> he's in the water, the poor thing. Alright, I'll see you there, guys. Hey guys, just a quick one. I think this is where Nikoa is. Um, but we're gonna do that probably in the next episode. So just letting you know. Um anyway, we're still a far way off. You may as well join me for this because this is all uncharted territory here. I'm really nervous about going here. I'd hope I'm not gonna be under leveled. But anyway, um let's just keep going. If, if nothing... Oh, shit, there's freaking stat moves there. God damn. If nothing exciting happens, I'll just time skip. But this is gorgeous, man. It's so lushy. Oh, crap. Okay, don't aggro to me. Just leave me alone. I come in peace. No, go away. Long legs. Long legs. Leave me alone. I'm not causing any harm. Trampler? What the hell does that mean? Oh, is that a machine? Oh, Jesus, leave me alone, long legs. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I don't know what it was. A trampler. Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe it was off, uh, off the screen. I don't know. Okay, machine side discovery sawtooth. God damn it. I need to be careful. Shellwalker? Oh, shit. 
Oh shit, snapples. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Aloy, go, go, go. Right, so we're going to pitch cliff. God damn it, this is so far away. What was that? What the hell is that, guys? Corrupted what? Uh, sensitive to sound. It's called a rock breaker, sorry. Um, Zeta overrides. Uh, sensitive to sound, this massive machine burrows underground and surfaces with devastating force. It looks like a worm or something. A slug. Okay, digging arm, body. It's weak to freeze, funnily enough. All right, look, look. It, it's interesting, but not why I'm here. We'll fight it some other time. And it's corrupted as well, Jesus. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Jabba the Hutt. I don't know why. Anyway, let's just keep going. Another campfire, fantastic. All right, it's getting colder up here, meaning there's more snowfall here. Oh, please, no, Samuel, please. Oh, crap. Okay. All right, you can make it. Broadhead, you can make it. You can make it. Come on. I believe in you. This is a trampler, guys. Okay, give me a sec. Right, let me just read that. Okay, uh, when threatened, it will run circles around its target while using explosive fire attacks. Oh, shit. It's weak to freeze, tear. Okay, that's its horns. Um, shock, power, so I can never get to those anyway. Uh, all right, whatever. Anyway. No, go. <laughs> Don't stop. Jesus. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, it's getting all misty. Why? Uh, what the hell? It's all foggy. All right, we're nearly there, guys. We're nearly there. Just want to get this out of the way. All right, campfire, good. Well, it looks like we're here, guys. All right, I think we're here. Good, we made it. Go to Pitch Cliffs. Okay, let me just check the map. Has this opened up a bit? What the hell is this? Oh yeah, that's one of those collectibles. Okay, fine, fine. We, we made made quite a lot of uh, mileage here. So, all right, let's go this way, I guess. This must be Pitch Cliff. Murad's agent should be at the marketplace right now. All right. Their armor's really cool, guys. I think they're also armor, I think. What the heck is that? <laughs> That's so cool. It's a goose. Alright, saw a supply box there. But anyway, let's let's just go and find a thing. I'll do the looting. Well, I may as well do it now. Oh, never mind. I can't see. No sign of Marad's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. All right. Uh, give me a sec, guys. Okay, let's just grab that real quick. Okay. Um. So, what do I do? Do I scan, look for tracks? Yeah, here we go. Well, Check it out. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Uh, it kind of stops. No, it's a... I can't move. Oh, <laughs> god damn. Alright. Oh, shit, he's dead. Has to be Murat's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. My men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. Guys, this is actually quite a long quest. But uh, no, I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. But I hope you guys are okay with this. Could split it into a couple of videos, I guess. 
All right. Okay, let me just go after these supply crates and we'll go up north. All right, guys. Okay, just did a couple of bits of looting. Nothing special. There's only two supply boxes. I've quick saved, so... All right, we need to get up here. It's pretty far. <laughs> and I did see some lights there, so I think there's some machines up ahead, so... I need to be a little careful. All right, Broadhead, keep going. All right, it's nothing so far. Is it this? Yeah, it's this way. Wait, what is that? Oh, shit. Holy shit, guys. That's, that's, um, uh, sorty. No, it's a Ravager. It's a Ravager. Okay, come on, keep going, please. Please, before he sees. Oh, no. You're kidding me. Guys, you're kidding me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go, 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 please. Broadhead, don't slow down. Why are you slowing down? Oh, my God, guys. This is so stressful, man. Okay. Is it here? Are we in the right place? All right, come on, come on, come on. I think this, yeah, this is it. We're, we're actually here. Actually, let me get off my mount, sorry. He's getting stuck on the walls and stuff. Oh, what is this music? Pass the test. <laughs> I like this track, it's really badass. All right, anyway, let's go up here. All right, cutscene. It's a bandit camp. What the hell? Oh, that's sad. Looks like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back. All right, guys. What should I do then? Should I kill the outlanders and machines? Okay, fine. Oh, wait. There's a dude up there. Oh, crap. Guys, I saw some stairs. Let me get up a little bit high. All right. I ideally want to get rid of the, to uh, the tower people. Okay, there's one there. There's one here. Wait, elite mercenary? What the hell does that mean? Why has he got a skull? That must be a boss or something, guys. All right. Oh, it's too dark. I can't see anything. Okay, let me just quickly... Oh, I don't know, guys. I hope I don't miss this, but I'll try. All right, good. He's dead. Good. All right, what about you? Yes! <laughs> that was a good shot, actually. Okay, so that's two down. There's a dude there. Okay, Ravager and a long leg. Quietly. But what do I do, though? How do I let... How do I set them free? All right, my intention is they should fight the bandits, but I don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They're all alerted now. Where's... Um, oh, there they are. <laughs> Errant. Okay. What's he doing? That dude there. Mercenary Forge Smith. Guys, I'm just wondering, is there any way to get through here um, without going through our main gate? It would be a bit safer, right? Guys, I would release them, but will they not turn against me? Ah, you know what? Never mind. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Please, so I can go slip in, in the back. <laughs> I, think, I think we made it, guys. Ah, crap. I actually want to go in here, though. Give me a sec. Oh, shit, there's someone there. Oh, crap, there's a skull person. <laughs> um, okay. What do I do? What do I do? I can't see that stupid flags in the way. I, I can't get to it. Oh, shit. No, this isn't going to work. God damn it, man. I have to go back out. 
Wait, 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 guys, guys. Okay. Alright. Okay, check it out. Guys, there's another freaking machine there as well. God damn it. Oh, frustrating. So frustrating. Did it work? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Wait. In fact, guys, there's a chain. Let me shoot it. It didn't work. Come on, man. Really? Let me shoot these. Oh, my God. All right, I give up. Maybe you can't actually release them. Right. Oh shit, someone there. Guys, I didn't even see him. Okay, someone there. <laughs> Alright, so far so good. Uh, Aloy, can you stop being stuck, please? Guys, I'm going to try this one more time. There has to be a way I can release them. Really? That is lame. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Guys, this is tense, man. I am nervous as hell. What's happening? Why are they alerted? Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, guys. I think uh, they saw me or Aaron's or something. Are you my buddy? Guys, that's Aaron's. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Okay. All right, give me a second. Oh my god, there's actually quite a lot of these, um... Right, here we go. Oh shit, it's a skull person again. Alright, good, good. I can't see them. Shit! Oh god, I'm getting stuck. No! What the hell? Jesus! Oh, guys, that is absurd damage, man. Okay, I'm running. I'm getting out of here. Why did I heal? Jesus Christ. Sorry, guys. I'm running away, but that was absurd damage. Okay, what's happening? Oh, it's a long leg. Long leg's free, guys. All right, that's good. It's, it seems to be killing those people, so that's good. All right. Okay, that looks like one of my buddies. I think that's Aaron's or whatever. Guys, I'm going to go back up here. Let me try and get back up high. Okay, what's happening? Oh, there, there, there. Sorry. Oh, shit. There's someone here. God damn it. Oh, she's still alive. God damn it. All right. Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Okay. There's someone alerted. Who's that? Right, there you go. Check it out. What the hell is she doing? Ah, crap. 
Can you stop moving? <laughs> nice. Oh, she's frozen. Check it out. Okay. No, no, no. This arrow, please. Oh, she's dead. Find Ursa. All right, cool. Okay, guys. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll loot afterwards. And there's still machines here. But I don't know what to do about them. Hey, look. I did try to release them. And um, nothing happened. So, screw it. All right, so where are we going? Is it up here? Guys, I don't feel very comfortable about these machines being like, I just feel like they're going to escape and I'm a little bit concerned about it. But anyway, whatever, let's, uh, let's just see what the hell's going on here. Um, guys, call me paranoid. Sorry, I'm just scared these machines are going to get released. But I can't have that happen. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to lay some traps here. Just in case. We're supposed to go through this way. Alright. Just so I'm all covered, you know? I've got a Just in case. <laughs> I'm very nervous. Something is telling me that the Ravager and the Long Leg will surprise attack us. Anyway, let's go through here. And let me just fill this up in case I need it. All right, this is it. Cutting. What the hell? Oh shit! Says you gotta eat dirt. What the? Okay. We need to destroy that. That thing that's flashing. Aaron, I need your help, man. <laughs> Where are you? Oh shit! Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. Oh, he's frozen. Look, check it out. Aaron keeps freezing him for me. Okay, we'll do double damage. Ah, crap. He's coming here. <laughs> right, run. Wait, what happened? No, no, please. Oh, come on, please don't. Ravager, I'm not the one you want. Oh my God, please stop. Jesus Christ. I knew that was going to happen. Guys, what did I say? I knew that was going to happen. Or something similar. Where is he? Is he dead? Okay, good, good. Right, where's the dude? Actually, guys, screw it. I'm gonna. Oh no! I, it, this doesn't work. I'm trying to release them, but it never works. See? Oh shit! I'm oh, sorry. Wait, hide, hide, hide. Oh, he's, <laughs> guys, the long legs attacking the dude. <laughs> oh no, he's looking for me now. All right, I'm sorry. I haven't got time for this. Oh god, he's after me, Jesus. I don't know who's who. Oh, really? Oh my god, long leg, please. I'm gonna put a blast away here. That's for the long leg. <laughs> Guys, this is not what I wanted, honestly. Shit. Okay, good. Yeah, attack attack this dude. We did it, guys. He's dead. We need to kill the... We need to kill him, though. I'm so sorry, um, long leg, but... Gosh, he really hates that guy, doesn't he? <laughs> no, that didn't work. Shit. All right, he's dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Are you okay? Errand. 
Oh, guys, did I do that? <laughs> okay, whatever, whatever. Aaron's fine. He's okay. He's a champ. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Earplugs. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, that was a little bit hairy, but we we made it through. Disable the sonic barrier. It's this one. All right. Investigate Dervil sh workshop. Okay. Oh my god, is she gonna be okay? Aaron? Durval tried to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Oh, gosh. be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Don't say she dies. <laughs> now listen. Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. You're shitting me, guys. No, no. Please. <laughs> I won't let you down. I promise. Aaron, I'm... I'm so sorry. You've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. I'll, uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. Oh, damn, I am sad, guys. That's awful, man. I thought it was going to be a happy reunion. Oh, and she died. Oh, that's so sad. God damn it. All right, anyway, let's look around. Oh, goodies. Oh, wow, 43%. Oh, I'm definitely taking all this. My God, that's awesome. Okay, let's have a look at everything. What's this? All right, cool. What else? Such a strange Recording device. device. It's beautifully crafted. Okay, I'll go to that in a second. Let's check this one out first. What's Durval learned from all his tinkering? Do I even want to know? Am I missing anything? Oh, there's something actually here. One second. Durval's records, maybe. Just notes about crafting. Oh, and a letter tucked between the pages. Lots of blaze. Headed to Meridian. If we find it, I'll bet we find Durval too. All right, sorry, I need to go into this before it disappears. Uh, data points. Oh, crap, which one? What is it? Was it a glyph? Oh, I'm crying out loud. Yeah, this one. Okay, Durval's journal. It's not long, so I'll read this out. Okay, my loyal customer, a Ayland Forgeman. I hope your plans for a forge in Upper Meridian are moving forward, and we're honoured that you chose us to provide the blaze you need. We've received payment for the third shipment, 
and we are most thankful for your prompt re remuneration. <laughs> Unfortunately, our hunters are struggling to cover the order. We apologize for the delay, but this is an unusually large request. As soon as we have it, we'll deliver it to your warehouse as promised. With utmost respect, uh, Gerund Huntmaster, Mainspring Machine Makings. So it's a, it's a, a business that sells Blaze. All right, talk to Aaron. Just before I talk to him, there's something else here. What's this? What happens when I turn it on? Oh, okay. I think I've got it working. There. Now, say something. Both of you doves. I don't know. What do you want me to say? Whatever you want. I, I just want to hear your voice and keep it for later. I'll sing, Papa. La 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 la. <laughs> there. A song and a laugh. Even better than words. And now I can hear them whenever I want. We're done then? Off to bed with you. Good night, Mama. Good night, Papa. Is she gone? What are we going to do? The raids are getting closer and closer to Main Spring. How much longer can we hide like this? A keepsake from his family. Derval's got nothing left to lose. Oh, that's painful, guys. I just remembered his wife and daughter were sacrificed in the sun ring. All right, he's a piece of shit for what he's done to Ursa. But I don't blame him for losing his mind, especially after hearing that voice recording of his uh, child and, and wife. That's actually sad, guys. Things like that can really drive you over the edge, you know? Anyway, let's speak to Aaron. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. Guys, this was an amazing quest. It was really action-packed. It was actually very exciting for me because there was a lot of lore. Um, it's just great. I really love this. But it's ended on such a sad note. I was really... I thought it's going to be like, um, you know, we'll rescue Ursa. We'll bring her back to Meridia. We're going to catch Deval. But Ursa died. That sucks, guys. I'm so sad. And it's sad to hear this... Uh, voice recording as well that's really painful man what what the hell are these puffs of smoke here? oh it's that <laughs> all right funny okay guys look i'm gonna leave it there this has been a super long video um we'll continue in the next one so the next quest will be called the sun shall fall so i'll see you guys in the next video take care now